spend a little time talking about how we got here. Um, so um, this is really inspired by uh, part of part of my background has been in computer training. I was a computer instructor for a couple years and I've always been uh, someone who's been a technology advocate. And uh, throughout the, the time I was a computer instructor, we really got a chance to get exposed to the real need in our community uh, for computer training and computer skills. Uh, my youngest student was 18. Uh, my oldest student was 93. And the needs varied, but the, the common goal was a need to have uh, a quality device, to have basic computer skills and have access to high-speed internet. And so our goal um, as an administration and as a city is for every Elyria resident to have those three things. To have a quality device, to have computer skills, and to have high-speed internet. Um, and so we, uh, last year, were able to partner with Goodwill to get something started, to start on that journey. As many of you know, the pandemic uh, heightened the need for technology skills, hey judge, it heightened the skills for the need for technology. Uh, as we saw schools became virtual, we saw work became virtual, uh, we saw doctor's appointments become virtual, and then most recently we saw the need to sign up for vaccinations uh, uh, going virtual as well, and the need for technology skills. So I see technology as the new transportation. I see technology as uh, a basic utility, a basic right that every resident needs and will, will need. And, um, and so on that journey, uh, we reached out to various broadband service providers and asked them, hey, will you partner with the city of Elyria on this journey? And I was so excited when I got in touch with uh, Tony, uh, the CEO of Windstream, and shared with him uh, this burden we had and this opportunity we have in the city of Elyria and his excitement and brought his team along with Shauna and Suzanne and you know how excited they were to jump in and really help out here in the city of Elyria. And uh, through a series of conversations, we've developed a partnership that Windstream is gonna share uh, some, some great news on that partnership. But ultimately, it's a pathway for every Elyria resident to get computer trained, to get computer skills, and get access to high-speed internet. So with that being said, I'll pass it over and uh, allow the folks from Windstream to give some remarks and then we'll formally present the announcements. So pass it on over. Thank you so much, Mayor. And the Mayor really um, summed it up wonderfully. We are so excited about the opportunity to partner with the city of Elyria. Um, this past year has you know, changed the way that we have to communicate. And it also brought to, uh, to everyone's attention just the necessary need that broadband and our connection with people um, has changed dramatically. We need to make sure that we have um, our residents and our folks within our community able to be able to reach out to family, friends, to be able to work. And when the mayor reached out to Tony, our CEO, it put us on this wonderful path to be able to be partners, to be able to fund at least six months of training with Goodwill, um, to be able to educate um, so many people within the city of Elyria and then also to be able to go um, and launch a hackathon. I've never participated in anything like that, and it's kind of exciting to see what that's gonna be all about. So um, we're embarking on um, a lot of new, exciting things with the city of Elyria. We've been a long, -term, um, long time partner with the city of Elyria, and we wanna continue. So we are very, very pleased to announce that we are going to be uh, sponsoring with the city of Elyria, $30,000 donation uh, to support the training with Goodwill and uh, with the Hackathon. So, very exciting. Shana, do you want to bring up the check? It's going to be interesting to see how we can cash this. <laughs> Yeah, we need them. Come on, Ren. Oh, I need my mask. Can we get our mask on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
share some details about how to sign up for the computer training classes. Residents can call 305-0455 to sign up. If you get a voicemail and you're calling to sign up, please just leave your full name, a callback number, and the best time to reach you. If you do have a smartphone or internet access, you can also sign up at IlyriaCares.com. Again, that's IlyriaCares.com. We will also have information about classes, schedules, and more details available once everything is finalized on the city's website at cityofillyria.org. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for We have flyers here. Uh, so these will be, hopefully you'll see these flyers painted around the city on the poles and everything. So if you're a local business and want to put the, pole, or put the flyer up, let us know, come by City Hall and pick up some flyers. We're gonna make sure these get out to the public so people can sign up. Um, and then another exciting opportunity we have for folks is around um, through some local, I mean, through some recent federal legislation, there's some opportunities for folks to get access to um, a reduced rate of internet and a reduced rate to, for a device. So I was gonna provide some space to kind of talk about the emergency broadband plan really quickly. So feel free to come on up. Yeah, so just to elaborate, um, there with the stimulus funding, we are, going to have a really special offer for the emergency broadband um, to be able to provide those services at a reduced rate. Uh, there's also going to be a $100 credit for a device uh, for people to be able to purchase the device. Uh, a lot of details, things are being finalized right now with the FCC, but we really expect that to launch within the next week or two. So um, we will be providing an advertising that a lot to make sure that we're going to be able to get that offer into those hands to those folks that need it um, and certainly with the partnership with the city of Elyria we're going to rely on on you to help us get that message out so very excited about that and again not sure if anybody has any questions about that yeah, any questions any other, you got a question 